Mystery Attorney. The first ending. We assume. We assume it's the first ending. Yeah. Um, so, we're, so we're going to the Palais de Justice for the trial. Yep. Uh, all of these endings appear to be very short. Um, like, on choices. Yeah. Choices-wise, not necessarily on... Talking. Talking. So... Uh, I'm still very upset over Coco Rico. So, Sparrowson, how confident do you feel about this trial? I'm super confident. We're going to get a guilty verdict for that lioness for sure. I mean, it's pretty much a given. That's the spirit. Let's kick some derriere. Yeah, let's do this. Aww. Aww. Sparrowson. Poor guy. I should get an assistant. Ah, the doors are opening. Be careful, Pichan. Is she representing herself over there? All right, settle down, everyone. Settle down. Is the prosecution here? Sparrowson, present. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Excellent. Are all in the jury present? All present and accounted for, Your Honor. It is my understanding the defense is representing themselves today, correct? That, that's your cue, madam. You can see I'm here. Just skip this pantomime nonsense and convict me already. Now, now, we have to follow procedure, madam. Let's do this right. Mm, fine. Yes, I, Leonie Beaumort, am here. Very good. Now, defendant, you are being accused of three crimes. First, you were charged with the murder of Severin Cogorico, the well-respected and benevolent prosecutor who worked for this very court. A benevolent prosecutor? What a joke of a phrase. Silence, if you please. The second you were charged with inspiring to incite a rebellion. And we shall have our rebellion. I said silence, order, order. Your third charge is the murder of Dame Catalina de Miao. Sure, why not? Your Honor, I have no doubt that defendant is guilty of her first and second charges. In fact, I myself bore witness to the murder of Severin Cocorico. I could even deliver testimony of the events. That won't be necessary. I confess. Silence from the defense, please. Continue, prosecutor. As I was saying, those two charges aren't to be contended. In my mind, there's clear as day. But I would like to address the third charge in this trial session. The bombing of Chateau Crenier, the murder of Dame Caterline. I plead guilty. Not just to the murder of Dame whoever, but all three charges. Plead whatever you like, madam. I don't believe that you played any part in the attack. You were in jail at the time of the incident. You couldn't possibly have had the means to issue an order to a lackey. To help me uncover the truth, I call investigative officer Inspector Voluntary to the witness stand. Inspector Voluntary, please approach the stand and recite the oath. Just what are you playing at, Monsieur Sparrowson? What am I playing at? This was intended to be a straightforward trial. Why are you dragging this out, n out th with needless pedantry? Any of them. I'm securing justice. Is that to call this nonsense justice? Fine. You're wasting everyone's time, if you ask me. Whatever. Let's get this over with. I, Inspector Justice Valerity, swear to, spare, to speak without hatred and without fear, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Excellent. On to the questioning. Now, Inspector, why do you believe that Madame Beaumort is behind the bombing of Chateau Crenier? Is that not obvious? Because she has a crystal, crystal clear motive. The madam wants a rebellion by killing a prominent bourgeois figure in a dramatic manner. She stirs up tension between the classes. A motive? That's all you're going by? Obviously not. I have evidence, too. You, you have evidence that Madame Bamort was behind the bombing. Real evidence. You didn't tell me about this before the trial. I didn't think it would be necessary to tell you. How was I to know that you would drag this out? Enough. Enough figuring, you two. Inspector, present your evidence. Very well, you're This is a poster that was found at the crime scene. It was crudely fastened to a pillar and found around 50 meters from where the explosion occurred. You will all burn... Oh, sorry, that's you. You will all burn for your sins. That message is no doubt intended for de as a declaration of violence, a warning of what's to come. As you can see, the poster was damaged by the explosion and the ensuing fire. The signatures at the bottom are nearly unreadable. Despite this, it is the evidence that two names fit the space perfectly. Those names are Fontaine and Piero. F 
Fontaine and Piero, the two bar dwellers? I mean, I knew they were rebels because I saw them in the catacombs with my own eyes, but do you really think they did this? Of course, no other names fit the gap. Uh, and it's far too much of a coincidence to be anybody else. It's true. I can't think of any other names that clearly, cleanly fill in the gaps. Maybe Viridian Killer. That's what I was thinking. The inspector's evidence appears to be pretty convincing, Prosecutor. Are you done with your direct examination? Mm -hmm. No, Your Honor, I'm not. There's no way that the poster was written by F Fontaine and Piero. I intend to prove it. You're welcome to try. Make it snappy, Monsieur Sparrowson. I'm going to cross-examine him. Okay. Examine Fontaine and Piero. Inspector, you say Fontaine, Fontaine and Piero made this poster. There are other possibilities, I guess. There are other possibilities. Maybe Piero and Fontaine had no po part in this attack. They are fugitive rebels associated with Madame Beaumont, and their names fit the burned signature. But it's within the realm of possibility that another person was involved, right? You have someone in mind, prosecutor. You're just picking out a theory. Someone in mind. I just do have someone in mind. Actually, I have even more than that. I have evidence that another person was involved with Chateau Crinière attack. You just pick either the poster or the picture. I guess the poster makes more sense, but it says either way. The note? Yeah, the note. Because it, it looks like the bottom yeah. part of the paper. Inspector Volerti, I found this note in the gardens of Chateau Crinière. A note you say. Let's have a look. Sparrowson, believe in yourself. <sighs> what is this sentimental rubbish? Some sort of self-help pamphlet? Ignore the contents of the no note for a moment, Inspector. Focus on the shape of the paper. The shape, well, it appears to be torn corner of paper. Probably ripped from a larger sheet. Ah, wait, this tear. It looks familiar. You see it too. The torn edge of the note matches the corner of the poster. What conclusion can we draw from this? I posit that the person who wrote this note is the same person who designed and wrote the poster. Hmm. That's a reasonable claim, but I don't see anything to indicate who wrote this note. It's unsigned. It doesn't need an exp a signature inspector. I, I know of only one person who would leave a note in a place like that. I might as well accuse him. Can I? Where is he? He would be on the first page, wouldn't he? Yeah. There he is. Huh. Do the first Good. one. I don't want to throw anyone under the horse carriage, especially this person. But well, in my opinion, the only person that fits is... Mon Dieu, what was that? An explosion. It sounded like it came from right outside. No doubt about it. Beaumort, did you arrange this? What? Me? No, I have no idea what's going on. Um, I hate to uh, be a bear of bad news, but uh, well, in a manner of speaking, uh, how to put this? For pity's sake, spit it out, monsieur. Fire! There's a really big, there's a really big fucking fire. Here in the Palace of Justice? Not just in the Palace of Justice, the whole island's ablaze. It's crazy, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, you heard the rabbit. Everybody clear out. Court is adjourned. Well, that's why you could pick anybody. It didn't matter. Yeah. I'm not through with you, Beaumort. Spit it out. Are you behind this fire? I told you. I have no idea what's going on. Now, can you please undo my shackles so I can avoid burning to death? We need to go, Inspector. Don't lie to me, Linus. Is this your plan? Is one of your lackeys trying to break you out? Is this the start of the rebellion proper? You're acting ridiculous. I'm telling you, that explosion had nothing to do with me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? You honestly played no part in Chateau Crenier incident, and you honestly know nothing about this fire. Can we get out of the fire? Seriously, we gotta go, Inspector. Right, let's go. Uh... Wait, Sparrowson. Undo my shackles, please. You aren't seriously gonna let me die here, are you? Of course not. Sit tight. I think they keep a spare set of jail keys around the judge's podium somewhere. Okay. okay. I swear it's somewhere around here. Sp 
Pharos, and for what it's worth, I'm... I'm sorry for killing that prosecutor, Kokoriko. I'd be lying if I said that killing that bird didn't bring me relief. It did. It took a weight off my heart that had been there for years. But I'm starting to think that what I did was... Well, it wasn't justice. I don't think it was, at least. No, it was revenge. Yeah. Ah, I found the key. Take it. Undo your chains and you're free to go. You're letting me walk? Yep. You know that I'm going to take this opportunity to flee the country, right? Sounds good. Try Britain. Or maybe America. I hear America's nice. Why are you doing this? I thought prosecutors were all about punishing the guilty. I don't know much about being a prosecutor, madam. I've only had this job for four days, after all. But I do know that Coco Rico wouldn't call a person burning to death justice, even if that person were guilty. I'm just following his example. You're following Coco Rico's example? Yeah, feel bad. Was the Coco Rico I saw as a child different from the Coco Rico I killed? I don't know. I hear people change. But we don't really have time for this discussion, madam. Because, you know, fiery imminent death and stuff. All right. You lead the way. Actually, I'm meeting the inspector out front. You may want to take the back exit. The inspector would see us both hanged if he knew what I just did. I understand. Then we probably won't meet again, so I suppose this is goodbye. Indeed. Good luck, Madame Beaumont. Beaumont. And to you, Sparrowson. You're a first-rate lawyer. I'm first-rate? Good. You made it out safely. Any problems? Nope. No, no problems at all. Excellent. Looks like the rabbit was right. Buildings are on fire from riverside to riverside. We need to get off the island right away. Hold on, Inspector. There's something important I need to tell you. Save it. Our safety takes priority. The fastest way out of here would be via Rue d'Arcol by Notre Dame. Let's not dawdle, Monsieur Sparrowson. On the streets of the Ile de... de... de la Cité, panicked people of all ages and classes scurry away from the engulfing flame. Smoke billows out of the burning buildings, enveloping the sky in a dark cloud. This place is in utter chaos. Inspector, slow down. I need to tell you this. It can wait. It really can't. Listen, back at the catacombs, Falcon told me something. I thought he was just saying stupid things because he was angry and stressed. But then, with the Chateau Crenier incident, and now this, well, I think he may have been telling the truth, and... Cut the preamble and spit it out. Falcon told me that he was the Viridian killer. He didn't tell you that, but yes, well, he kind of did. Yeah. Inspector? Are you okay? Hm, I knew it. Run along, Sparrows, and get off the island safely. Aren't you coming too? No. I'm going to go arrest the Viridian Killer. I've hunted him for 18 years, and now I finally have my opportunity. You're going to arrest Falcon? But you don't know where he is. I do know where he is. The arrogant Phil de Pute is watching us right now. He is? I don't see him. Like I said, this is my arrest to make Sparrowson. Run along. Inspector? What do I do now? Ah, there was a tiny figure up there on top of that building. Really? Yeah. Good. Such a beautiful view. Perfect place to watch the city burn. Inspector, it's about time. Come on, step out of the shadows. You. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it! You were the one responsible for the bombings of the July Revolution. You are the ones responsible for the bombings of today. You! You are the Viridian Killer. I am. Ha! Such a brazen confession. You knew before Sparrows and told you, didn't you? How long have you known? I've always had my suspicions. A falcon acting as a defense lawyer? Laughable. It's in your nature to be a bird of prey. It wasn't until Coco Rico and I carried out our investigation that my suspicions turned to evidence-based reasoning. You changed your name between 1829 and 1832. Why? Because you wanted to distance yourself from your old identity, that of the Viridian Killer. I knew that you had the murderous spirit in you. I knew that under the right pressure, I could draw that spirit out. 
So I created a perfect scenario. You are a fool. Oh, you're a fool, Inspector. But I can't fault your intuition. I suppose you wish to arrest me? Of course, I will arrest you. I'll have you tried and I will have you executed in the name of justice. Justice. You talk as if I'm the only one who stands here as a sinner. You, Inspector, are just as guilty as I am. Ha! I'm an outstanding citizen. You were the one responsible for Severin Kokoriko's death. You were the one who ordered for him to undertake a mission that he had no chance of completing. You knew from the moment that you sent him to confront the rebels that he would be killed like a street dog. And for what? To anger me? To make me lash out? Well, congratulations, you succeeded. Here I stand as the Viridian Killer. Coco Rico is dead and Paris is ablaze. Dozens have died so that you can fulfill your lust for punishing criminals. I have broken no law. I have done no wrong. You think the law defines right and wrong? That's, dis that's a disgusting level of naivete. Regardless of what's written in the law books, we're both sinners. The worst kind, Inspector. We both deserve justice. So let us... Judge, let us be judged by the way of the ancien regime. Let us settle this through the oldest form of trial known to man. The oldest form of trial? You wish to duel? Indeed. I am sure that you brought a pistol. I brought one of my own. This is a farce. I'm not going to duel you. I'm not going to give you a choice. On the count of five, I'm going to turn and shoot. You can, par you can participate or you can be killed. You really are the monster I expected you to be, Viridian Killer. Count. One. You can do either, it says. Two. I want to at least be Three. mildly noble. Four. Five. Turn and shoot. What? That's the final count, Inspector. Why haven't you turned to shoot me? I see. I misjudged you. I thought you hated criminals through and through, but here you are, showing mercy to your worst enemy. You're a lawful man. A virtuous man. But you still await judgment for the death of Severin Kokoriko. If you thought that you could escape punishment just because you are willing to show me mercy, well... You are very much mistaken. You, you dishonorable Connard, shooting a man in the back. I never claimed to be honorable. Nor did I. Okay. Okay. So they both got shot. Except I the, assume the next thing it tells you is to talk to Falcon. Well, I'm sure he's he's not dead. Yeah. So this is how it ends for us: two old birds going up in flame. And hear pan people chanting liberty, equality, fraternity. The rebellion really has begun. No, this, this isn't right. I can't leave things like this. Inspector, I have a confession. I'm not the Verdian killer. I knew you weren't. Yes, I bombed Chateau Crenier, and I did want to get revenge on an enemy of mine. I did that to get a revenge on an enemy of mine. And yes, I set the city island on fire to spite you. But the real Verdian killer, the one who maimed you in the July Revolution 18 years ago, that wasn't me. I have no idea who that person is. Did you hear me, Inspector? Oh, you're already gone. Maybe it's for the best that you didn't hear. Truth is overrated anyway. This is it. This is my time to go. It's probably Sparrowson, yeah. Not on my watch! Come on, get on your feet! Fuck you! Sparrowson? Go to the hospital! To the hospital! Hey, I bet we're gonna use that invention! Yeah, maybe. Yeah. How is he, Doctor? Feels thinly fucking then to wrap pretty minor. It's just a minor burns and a superficial gunshot wound. But mentally, I think you will need a little time. I see. Don't fret, this hospital is the best mental health care in all of Europe. We'll do everything we can to put him right. Thank you, Doctor. Can I speak to him? Oh, no problem at all. Actually, you should take him for a walk by the river. Maybe that'll do him some good. Hi, 
Hi, Sparrowson. Hi, Falcon. Feeling okay? Yeah. Don't worry. I haven't gone loopy. That's a relief. Come on, let's take a walk. Let's yeah. make a move. So, looks like the rebel uprising was successful. The prime minister fled. The king was booted out of the country. Poor king. France has a new and scary future ahead of it, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I hear Judd Maxine granted you a full legal license. Yeah, I'm a real attorney now. Congratulations are in order. You must be proud. I am. Have you decided what kind of law you're going to specialize in? Yeah, it says anything. I'm going to be a defense attorney, like you, I suppose. A defense attorney, huh? It suits you. You think so? Yeah, you're not, you're good at playing the hero. Mm, true. I think we've made enough small talk, Falcon. There's something serious we need to discuss. Mm. The bombings. Only Inspector Valerity and I knew that you were behind the attacks on Chateau Crenier and the courthouse. Only he and I knew that you were the Viridian killer. So with him gone, it's just me. I see. Do you plan on turning me in? No. No. Why not? It's difficult to say. I'm still trying to get a handle on this justice malarkey. Right now, I don't know what's right or wrong. Are you a murderer? Should you be in prison? I don't know. This whole thing is a mess. I find myself asking, what will Cocorico do? Probably give a stupid Voltaire quip. <laughs> I guess. I'm gonna cry. Listen, Sparrow son, I want to thank you for not turning me in, but I think I'm going to stay at the hospital for a little while. Or maybe a long while. You can call it penance if you want. I understand. You know, you could just go. Make a run for it. I won't be able to catch you. I bet you could even make it all the way to C Calais? 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 I think. Yeah, I probably could. But I won't. You don't want to be free? Of, co of course. Yeah. I want to fly away more than anything. But some birds need to be kept caged. Okay. Okay. Oh. And ending credits. Yeah. Well, oh, wow. that hurt horribly. I hope the other ending doesn't hurt as bad. Well, Kokoriko shouldn't die, so hopefully uh, hopeful not. Hopefully he shouldn't die. Yeah. I don't know if we, like... Stop it or not. Yeah, I guess that's true. Fingers crossed that he doesn't die. It would be nice to not have our friend die. Oh, we get to talk to the king in the next episode, hmm. though. Interesting. So I assume the next one is that we stop the rebels, I guess? I guess. It'll be interesting to see what the uh, fourth, uh, the third option is. Yep. Since we don't know really anything about that one. Yep. I didn't know yeah, this game was Kickstarter. The, uh, the, the 4C, the third option, um, it, uh, there's no real guide on it. Probably because the option is, uh, that we do something but we fail the trial. Yeah. You've reached the end of Route A, Liberté. So I don't know if there's a good ending for this. I think it's just... The ending you received was determined by the decisions you made in Chapter 3. By tackling the trial in the catacombs differently in order to see a... Try tackling the trial in the catacombs differently to see a different ending, which we are going to do. Thank you for playing Aviary Attorney. That was freaking awesome. Yes, this is a very good game. I freaking love this game. So, we're going to do the other two endings. Um, I feel like there'll probably only be one, maybe two episodes each. Just depending. Mm, the next one's going to be longer because it involves doing investigation before the actual trial. Okay. Because we're still going to be Falcon. Okay. So the next ending will probably be two, three episodes. We're not sure about the third ending yet. So when we get there, we'll talk about that one. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, this is J2A. We just want to say thanks for watching our video. We appreciate any and all support we get from viewers, new and returning. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Bye.